doing that, right? right? You came to the truth, more brothers are going to come to the truth. We all, we all chip in. That's what Christ said. When you say you've forsaken all, and the brother brought that verse, second answer though, uh -huh. this is what Christ is going to say. 1927. Yeah. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto, the, unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. All right, stop right there. So everything that we have, we gave up to follow this truth. I gave up everything. I lost houses and everything, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hurt. I lost everything. Yeah. Go ahead. What shall we have therefore? But see, the most high is giving it back now. Go ahead. And Yahweh, Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, regeneration regenerate. the Son of Man uh -huh. shall sit on the throne of his glory. All right, come on. And you shall also sit upon the twelve thrones. All right, that's his disciples. They also the twelve thrones. Come judging on. the twelve tribes of Israel. I don't hear nobody else in there. All I hear is twelve tribes of Israel. That's it. You know, we had, a, we had an Edomite woman who came up here earlier. The tribes of Israel. Christ came out of the line of Judah. His people are destroyed. Do you understand? His people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Absolutely, and that's why it's going to take from the tribe of Judah to write the Bible series. We're standing here with Bibles, all this stuff. She want to, you see how they disrespect us? Yeah. The Puerto Rican black men standing up. She want to disrespect us, trying to say, oh, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're basically, that's what she's saying. Yeah. But we went to Proverbs 8 and 4, unto you all men I call. It's and the Spirit is upon to the sons of men. Right. Not to no dog on women. That's not. You know what I'm saying? She has that. She has the Western understanding of, of of heaven and all those things, but it's false. And this is actually a good precept to the doctrine that we our people hold on to. Right? This is some understanding. To what? This is uh, Deuteronomy 4 verse 19. At least thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven. So where do our people lift up their eyes to? They lift their eyes into heaven, but they do it with closed eyes, all right? So they close their eyes to heaven. And when thou seest the sun and the moon... So they imagine in their mind Christ in heaven, right? They imagine all the beautiful things. And the stars, even all the host of heaven, should have by driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy power have divided unto all nations under the whole heavens. Mm. Because all they do is worship Christ by the faith, because they have to just believe in his name. Not keeping in mind that the Bible says to keep the commandments and the faith of Christ, right? So that's all they want to do is get to this place that the pastor preaches every Sunday, a beautiful place, you know, after death, and all you got to do is come to church and keep paying, right? Okay, hit them with that one. When, so when is that doctrine actually used? You know, you know, when is that doctrine actually used? That the Christians push. When it says just believe in Christ. When is that actually used? We, when we, can we you use them when, when can you, you know it. Best time when can you actually use them? When you know they can't keep the laws, what time in their life can, they, can you walk up to a brother and be like, man, just believe in Christ. Just believe in your house. When can you actually do that without pushing the law? Huh? Yeah. You're about to die. Yeah, you're about to die. Yeah. You're about to die. A few days, a few, a few hours left. A few minutes. A few minutes. <laughs> That's when that doctrine work. Right. Uh huh. Don't work right now. Right now, you got to tell them, follow Hamas, yeah, you Oh, okay. Okay, keep talking about. Okay. And That's keep right. the law. That's fine. Right. When they dying. Yeah. That's when you say believe in Christ. Okay. Right. Okay. You know right. what I'm saying? That's, That's what the Christians speak. So they sitting dead men out of the church. Right. You know oh, because they, they push that when you well enabled. Yeah. They push that all yeah. time. Right. Yeah, they sending dead men back out of the church to sin again. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. It's broken down, man. That's that's wicked as hell. <laughs> that's worse than me killing my own brother with a gun. You know what I'm saying? It's time to wake up, man. It's the time. Okay. It's more. Like he's pretty passive. He's the one that's right. 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 This is, but the Lord have taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace. So when we look at that today, we're in the iron furnace today. So he brought us into the furnace, right? He says, don't worship those things because I took you out of the furnace. Now we're brought back into the furnace and they're worship and, we're, and our people are worshiping those things. It says, uh, brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt. Because Egypt means a place of bondage. That's why in Deuteronomy 28 says we'll go back into Egypt. To be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day. 
and our people are taught that they, that we're Gentiles, right? They we're taught that the Jews and over there are the real Jews and the real uh, Gentiles, right? So they, they we don't our people don't believe that they have an inheritance. They have to imagine their their inheritance is when they die. That's that's the wrong way of thinking, man. Yeah, you finished. Esau wants us to think that. Yeah. Okay. What you gonna get? Like I told brothers before. When you die, that's just a temporary place, man. Right. That's the reason why Hamashiach Yashai resurrected and had a body. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. His body got to come back on earth for some reason. Right. You die, that's it. You know what I'm saying? If you if you got your spirit that's living, yeah, you're going to come back on earth. But this is the time that we're in heaven. Right. This is the time to make the changes now. Right. And that's what these pastors don't understand. Right. Killing our people, man. Gentiles. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. Usually. But they mostly use Gentile as anybody who don't believe or anybody that's uh, living 